Uh, hello guys and welcome to Talk to Thursday, the show where I present and discuss weekly incidents from around the world. So since not much happened in the news uh, this week, I'm basically going to be updating some of the stories from last week and bringing one or two new ones to the table. Except coronavirus. Coronavirus is very important this week. So in last week's video I mentioned when I was talking about coronavirus being in Ireland that I was going up to one of the main uh, centres where it was happening and that was in Dublin. But I didn't actually reveal why I was going to Dublin and that was for a competition called the First Lego Leagues which I was doing with my school. We went and um, we lost. Uh, they live streamed the whole event on their channel and of course the part they got with me was the part where I kind of ruined our team's play. There are also other elements to it, like creating a project and uh, how well you interact with the team and improvisation. See, basically how it worked is that there was a bunch of challenges on the map that you needed to get your robot to complete. And I pressed my finger a bit too early while my teammate was still setting it up and that kind of got us to lose. All in all, it was still a fun experience. Uh, definitely do it again, but you know what? This new uh, virus time is probably not going to allow me. Right, so next up, another recap. Uh, first cut, uh, I talked about a little bit in last week as well, about how I was going to be going up on Wednesday, March 11th, and that was yesterday. Now, the festival itself has unfortunately been cancelled due to the coronavirus. That's why I told you it was going to be very important this week. They put up on their website and on their social media today that uh, I'll pull up the tweet. Uh, it is with deep regret that we announce that all first cut youth film festival 2020 screenings and events scheduled to take place between Thursday 12th and Saturday 14th of March have been cancelled based on the latest public health advice. So while it is disappointing that uh, the rest of the day and the next two days have been called off, uh, Wednesday and this morning's activity still got to go ahead. And so did your boy's presentation. It was interesting, to say the least. Now, they don't allow recording of the screen and when people are standing up and talking, but I did get a bit of a recording of my reaction to Daniel and Sophie 2 being on the uh, whiteboard, which... Take a look. Am I going to go into my own mind where I can cope with this scenario? Is there information on my parents? Alright, what's the news? Well, John Jindo will disappear on January 13th. Near easy. Ugh. Ugh. Where's Where's the the Hi, I'm Smith. Ladies and oh, gentlemen, you. today I am proud to present... <laughs> the Family Ball. <laughs> family Ball, you numerous things. So Pretty soon after this, we can all go home and forget this never happened. I'm like gonna get copyright struck. Yeah. Let's see premier wallpaper. You know, at first I was a bit disappointed that we have to be um, in our house for the next 14 days. Then I realized, maybe after that it might be for the best. So, uh, the YouTube app change. Um, I'm kind of bringing this up because I need to bring something new to the table. Uh, not much changed, but they did update the trending tab. Uh, so on mobile, the tab has been updated to the explore tab. Uh, before, it used to give you trending for every different um, topic on YouTube at the top. Uh, now they've updated the layout for the um, section. Uh, it's only a cosmetic change because now everything's just a bit more better laid out. Uh, the trending tab itself remains untouched. Uh, this update came on March 2nd, uh, 2020, I believe, because uh, that's when the app was last updated on the Play Store. Also, funny thing I noticed while researching for this video, YouTube got the Editor's Choice Award, which seems a bit like Google rewarding Google. Oh, Big boy corona time. Told you you'd be important in it. So, as of around 11.45am uh, AM over here in the ROI, Leo Varadkar, on his visit to America, confirmed that we are shutting down every school, every childcare centre, and every college and university. 
uh, shops over here are kind of like a war zone. Uh, we are completely sold out of hand sanitizer. We are completely sold out of pasta. We are completely sold out of chick. The fucking chick. Uh, I haven't been to the shops myself at the moment, but from what I hear, it's like a war zone inside there. People are pushing each other left and right just to get a tiny, tiny few supplies. Uh, might be bad, but I kind of want to join in. And most importantly, as in any disaster scenario in Ireland, we're out of bread and milk. Shit's getting a bit real now, isn't it? Listen, drop me into absolutely any Aldi, as if it's Iran or Vietnam. I will clap up the older generation with my brand new weapon, such as the elevated one. So actually, uh, I want to change a few things in my schedule. Uh, first off, Fortnite Friday didn't do so well. Um, so I'm going to switch things up a bit to Freelance Friday, where it's basically just a no rules kind of upload day. So I can just put up anything. I'd... Since most of the news and what I could find on the Twitter trending section uh, seem to revolve around coronavirus, that's all the news I can really present for this week. Uh, hopefully something a bit more interesting comes along. And I have more time to figure it out since we're going to be home for the next two weeks. But anyway, that's it for today's video. Uh, I will talk to you tomorrow where we have... Ah, yes. The elephant of the room. Tomorrow. 6 p.m. Now that everything is sorted out the way, it is confirmed. I know I said this last time, but it is 100% confirmed. Friday at 6 p.m. Me and former client going at it. It'll be the 1v1 to end all 1v1s. This could either mean I can torture former client in whatever way I want, or I must animate the entire video of me reading the B-movie script. Just remember, former client, you have two options. Either you can come and face the music. I know you're fucking trust game. Please, I did not do that bad in that practice room. Or, you have option B. You can skip the fight entirely. And I'll just upload the practice rounds. But let me remind you, I won those practice rounds. And I'll be in the news. So, now that everything's covered, I will talk to you uh, tomorrow for said 1v1. Uh, peace out.